Sequel Alchemy vs Sequel Model, these two top ORMs are about to battle it out to see which one is best and why you should choose one over the other. This is a great comparison because Sequel Alchemy has been the GOAT, greatest of all time, of Python ORMs for years. While Sequel Model is a new contender, built on top of Sequel Alchemy, but adding the power of Pydantic and data validation. In this video, we'll be breaking down these two ORMs across three main categories. One, we're going to be comparing the complexity of the two. Then we're going to dive into the learning curve to be able to use them. And then three, we're going to go into the community and the ecosystem of both of these ORMs. Each of these categories will be scored based on specific subcategories, and we'll dive into all the details as we go along in this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Eric Roby, a software engineer with over a decade of experience, and I've helped thousands of developers learn and grow within their craft. Now, before we dive in, it's important to note that SQL model is built on top of SQL Alchemy. So if you use SQL model, you're using SQL Alchemy under the hood. For instance, a SQL model is still a SQL Alchemy model, but the reverse isn't true. SQL model is not in SQL Alchemy, but SQL Alchemy is in SQL model. This comparison is still relevant because of the way you use these ORMs is fundamentally different. So let's start with why does SQL Alchemy and SQL model even exist? SQL Alchemy is a comprehensive of object relational mapping tool for Python. It's been the GOAT of Python ORM since 2005, and it's the most widely used library for database access in Python. SQL Alchemy lets developers interact with databases using Python code instead of writing raw SQL queries in the application themselves. This allows Python developers to be able to focus on writing Python instead of having to worry about writing SQL. Its flexibility is what's made it the top choice for database management systems in Python for years. On the other hand, SQL model is a newer ORM combined with the best of SQL Alchemy with Pydantic. And Pydantic is known for being able to do data validation. So we're doing data validation right before we change data within a table. And fun fact, SQL model was created by the same person who created Fast API. But now let's kick off this competition, starting with category one, which is complexity. Now, complexity in my mind is really built from two different subcategories. So complexity is is built from ease of use and the feature set given to this tool. So SQL Alchemy is incredibly powerful, but that power comes with a steep learning curve in my opinion. The setup of session managements, the ORM mechanics, these can all be fairly daunting for new developers that are trying to complete simple tasks. In contrast, SQL model is designed with simplicity in mind, and that's why it has Pydantic for data validation, and it can use type hints, which just makes everything easier if you know Python especially for developers who like really know modern Python practices. SQL Alchemy then also offers a comprehensive set of features. And this allows for you to have like fine grained control over database operations. It allows you to be able to merge tables very easily and be able to do complex relationships. And then you can also like optimize queries. This makes it ideal for like really complex applications that are really database heavy. While SQL model on the other hand, really their main features is for common tasks, but it doesn't offer really the same depth of control as something like a SQL Alchemy does. And this is particularly true for like complex queries and database interactions. So overall, if I'm going to score SQL Alchemy and SQL model based on complexity, I'm going to give SQL Alchemy a 6.5 out of 10. And I'm going to give SQL model a 7.5 out of 10. And that's because SQL model has Pydantic and most people only need to do like beginner and medium like level queries and the complexity is not always needed. This brings the overall score as of right now, SQL Alchemy 6.5 and SQL model 7.5. But now let's talk about the category number two, which is the learning curve curve. And when I think of like a learning curve, like how hard something is to learn, I want to see like how easy it is to get started. And then once you're past getting started, how hard is it to learn intermediate things? So SQL Alchemy has a steep learning curve that we've already talked about, which is particularly true for beginners And the frameworks complexity in the OR mechanics, session management, and all that kind of stuff requires significant time to really master. If you want to be like a master at SQL Alchemy, it does take some time. While I think it's easier to become like a master at SQL model, model, and that's because there's not as much complexity at the top, SQL Alchemy can do more. But I think the getting started entry level of SQL model is a little bit easier. However, as developers gain experience, SQL model, SQL Alchemy becomes more manageable. However, when trying to master its advanced features like complex relationship 
scripts and performance optimizations, this still requires really deep understanding of both SQL Alchemy and SQL. SQL model, while easier initially, just isn't really used in production applications enough to really be able to compare the complexity of like once you master SQL model, where I'm going to say SQL Alchemy got a 7 out of 10 and a SQL model got 6.5. This brings the overall score to 12.5 to 13. So SQL model still winning by just a little bit going into the last round. Now, category three is community, and that's really broken up into size and the entire ecosystem. SQL Alchemy has been integral to the Python ecosystem, like I said, since 2005. It's been the GOAT since. And because it's been the GOAT, it's built a huge, I mean, large and active community. The active community has contributed to many plugins, extensions, documentations. There's tutorials everywhere. SQL Alchemy is very, very popular. SQL model, since it's newer, doesn't yet have the same level of community support. It is growing rapidly. Like it's very new. It's growing rapidly. Just does not have as much, you know, community as SQL Alchemy, but it's growing rapidly. Like if you use Fast API, Fast API is growing rapidly. And now all the documentation is getting used with SQL model. Since it's used by the same developer, it is starting to gain lots and lots of traction. And since SQL Alchemy's ecosystem is mature and extensive with a wide range of tools, this helps with migration and testing and performance optimization. It's been proven in production over and over again. SQL Alchemy is being used by, I mean, 90% of Python applications. That might be high, but it's very, very popular. SQL Models ecosystem is still in its early stage. It's benefiting tremendously from Fast API and Pydantic, but lacking the breadth of the, the SQL Alchemy tools and community that SQL Alchemy is known for. So overall, when it comes to community and ecosystem, I'm going to have to give SQL Alchemy an 8.5 out of 10 and SQL model only a 6.5. This brings the overall score of SQL Alchemy to 21 and SQL model to 20.5. So in the end, SQL Alchemy does have a small edge overall to SQL model. And this is largely due to the community and being proven in production. SQL model just is not being used in a production application yet enough as of right now. However, if you're developing a project with Fast API because it's built by the same developer, I'm going to give a slight edge to SQL model, maybe like one and a half points, which now puts SQL model maybe 22 to 21 overall. But as of right now, I'm still probably not going to be using SQL model in production until it's proven out to be a little bit more stable and a little bit more used. And with that, they're almost identical. You can use whichever you want. Cheers.